I'd like to move on now to the, actually the purpose of this show was to set up the stream header. So again, what does it mean to be adding a local screen overlay? Let me give the introduction to this one again, talk about what that means and the problem I have, the problem I basically have is I used to stream from a monitor that was 1920 by 1080. Now I have a much larger monitor. I have not a 4K monitor, but I think it's somewhere, well, shit, I don't remember what the size was. It's almost twice the actual number of pixels, which makes it interesting. So I have this very large space, but while I'm streaming, I don't want to stream beyond 1920 by 1080. So on the OBS in the background, you don't see my entire desktop. If I drag it around, you can see there's more over there. And that's the stuff that's not going to be showing. I'm not trying to hide it. I, I just need to have a reasonable resolution on the stream because 1920 by 1080 is a standard resolution that you can stream well on Twitch and on YouTube. And I can stream this one at 30 frames per second. I'm about 30 frames per second too. This is chosen because I want clarity of a text and not of motion. And it's much better for text. So how do I figure out where I am on the screen? Like I had the problem one of the shows I had a window like this or, and it, it's not clear to me, I'll go back there. It wasn't clear to me immediately that nobody could see it. One of the, one of the chatters actually brought it up and said, Hey, I can't see the window. So I had to figure out, well, how do I know there's not a window? Where's that clipping? And the option I came up was what if I overlaid an image on my own screen? And so this is really to put the image on my own screen is I have that here and you can see that reference here on my own screen. I have this little blue bar and I thought this would be really easy to accomplish. And it actually turns out that it's not, there's actual problems with this. This is not easy to do. And I had to go through several options and I'm going to go through some of the options I actually had <clears throat> and what I did and how I actually got to the point of getting that little pop up there. I asked over on Ask Ubuntu, and I have no responses. I'm going to get to answer this one later. I'll answer that nicely. Say, hey, look, I have a solution for that now. I'm just going to move this out of the way. So the obvious solution is that, well, first of all, you have to make that graphic. And I made that graphic over in GIMP. And again, I can tell GIMP is not totally on screen. So let's shrink this down a bit. Now you can see it. And this graphic, I'll talk about that region. Is, the graphic is literally just border. This image is 1940 by 1100. That means it's slightly larger than the streaming area. So the actual lines are outside of my screen and it's fully, it's not fully transparent. To do this in GIMP, you can use a variety of the bordering things, filling and shading. That's not what I want to get into now. If you're really interested, I could show another show, but basically do some feathering and stuff. Use your favorite illustration program, draw a border, get it the right size make it translucent and save it in a ping file. So that's good. So now I had this file and my first attempt was to use the program display, which is part of the image magic set projects and current mortuary artwork screen. And I'll show you what this actually looks like if I can figure out the name for it again. All right. So this is image magic. I'm trying to get this thing to move around. It doesn't like to have borders on it. Come on. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Image Magic has like the display is a really weird option. I was trying to show the whole program, but whatever case, it's showing it off screen and it doesn't have the moving options by default. So if I can do probably over here, I can move it onto the screen. I'm using the, the task panel in Kubuntu right now and I resize it as well. All right, so now you can actually see that sort of if image magic would get out of the way. Um, and so this is the graphic I have and I want to position on the screen. And I know that image magic display has this, this is virtual toolbox. It's a toolbox. You can do virtually everything you want with images, but there are little holes. And this one here was the one I didn't know how to get this working with image magic because I wanted it actually transparent, like translucent. How could I actually get this image to show through to the desktop? And I wasn't sure how to do that. There's no, I couldn't find any command line option for display. So I gave up on that. And then I came across this program called Kiv. Kiv. And it has some options for it. You can also see it showing the image here somewhere. It's not letting me resize it again, but okay, whatever. 
it's showing this, you can see it's not transparent, but I think there was a dash C option. All right, let's take a look at here. There was an option here called, um, transparency, P. All right. So I'm gonna have to move this back into the screen now. Move. You can see now that you have this bar, and so Cube can actually display it in a transparent fashion. And oh, it just looks like I've been offline for whatever reason, but that's okay. I'll just keep going, assuming I'm online. <laughs> um, Kiv has this thing, but you notice it's it's not actually showing through the background. It's showing it's a checkerboard pattern, and it's also not showing the partially transparent part. So what Kiv is doing is it's taking actually a Boolean value for on off. And whether it's anything's on, it's a 50% transparency, it does complete clipping on and off. And that's that would work, but it's not really what I want. It's and, and you also notice I can click on it with the mouse, which is also not what I want. So, so I gave up a kiv, there was no options for that. And I looked around a little bit further until there's a program that I found called pkiv. And let me show you the there's a GitHub page for it, pkiv. And this almost, almost did what I want. So pkiv is a minimal viewer and it does virtually what I want, but there's a few things missing from it. But fortunately in one of the issues, one of the issues the guy had the same basic thing. And so I actually made a, I'm gonna go through my pull request and give an idea of what I had so I can get back to that issue. If we do, commits, there it is, this issue right here, 96, he didn't want to block events. And so that was my big issue too, is I was able to get it onto the display now, but if you clicked on it, it would come up to the front, which is not what you want. So if I did pkiv-c-i, again, it's, it's off, off my screen here. All right, so, the issue was if I clicked on this, it became the window and I wanted to click through because if you notice on, on the rest of my display, I can click through. Getting it to the top is not an issue. So what I want to do is could PKIV be modified to let the mouse go through it as though it's not actually there on my local desktop. And that's what the issue was about. This issue was actually about that. And there is some code down in here. There is a patch, a partial patch to do it. And so I modified that a little bit more and I think I got it working. Let's just show the bits of the code. So I branched this off and you can see the branch from that issue there. Let me actually copy this. I'll give you the link to the pull request. You can see the code difference if you want and you can actually use this version of the code then if you want the same thing. Um, whether it actually gets merged or not, I'm, it's probably would require cleanup and stuff like that. There's, I just did it quickly enough to show that it's working and see how it works. So over in source here, source, um, or opt to put it in. Opt pkiv, pkiv c. And I added two, two options to this. I added the keep above option. So I added this option called keep above, which keeps it above the other windows. And that means you can do that from the X interface as well. You can simply click on the, on the icon and say keep this above other ones, but it's convenient to have directly in there and keep above. This uses the GTK window set keep above on the main window that I have and it keeps it above all of the other windows. The other option I had, which was more interesting because I had no other way to do it, was the click through command. And click through does, it allows you to click through. I don't know why search doesn't work, it's more click through. Ah oh, yeah, option click through, sorry. Option click through. And this uses a feature, and this was from the issue. I didn't actually find this code. I was looking around. I actually did find the reference to shapes. This is how you do it in X, but I did not come up with this code itself. I took this from the issue and throw it in there, and it worked reasonably well. I gave it the option. And what the X screen clipping region feature is, the shape feature, is it lets you give a window a shape, so it doesn't have to be rectangular. And what this one here simply does is it gives it no shape. It says there's no shape whatsoever. It does a union of nothing and it gives it the shape, which means 
my window now has no shape to click on, so it will not get any, any mouse events. And that gives us what I want. Now I have a window that can be on top of the screen without being a clickable, and it's fully translucent. This will work on any system as long as the desktop environment is using a compositor. If you don't have a compositor, it's probably still going to be opaque. Um, but most of the modern ones, I think, enable compositing by default. Ubuntu certainly has for the last few versions, and Kubuntu does as well. I use Kubuntu. So I made that change there, and this PK of there is now, you have the pull request if you actually want to do the same thing. And that's really all there is to it. Once I got this border, once I got the border in OBS, again, I'll show you, this is where the border looks like. And you notice I also put something in this region here, and this is where I put my face in the screen. I had other ways of doing that, but this lets me know that when I move windows around, which part of this is hidden by the camera. And it's also partially translucent. You can see again here, it's right here on the screen. What am I looking at? And that gives me my basic overlay. So all we need to do, so the program is PewKiv with my patches would do that, a couple command line options. I'll show you one more thing I used to set up my stream, how to move it into the right place. And there's a set up stream here. So I have a standard set of stream script, which also moves things around, sets them up in the right place, sets up Firefox, moves the window around. And this is the one that launches PQIV, my program, or sorry, my patch program. And it uses a click through the keep above option. And I like using the long form of all of them. It also uses transparent background and hide info box, those are the other ones. And I use sleep two here. Because if I run this in the background, this next command has the chance of running before the window is actually created. So I do this, so I make sure I have an ID for the window. And then I use a program called VM control or WM control that actually moves it around. There was another one I was hoping for using called XProp, but that turned out not to work. I was hoping to turn off input, but there is actually no flag for turning off input as far as I can tell. So this script combined with that gets me what I want. I have a local overlay on my screen, so now I can tell what's in the screen and what's not locally without actually interfering with the stream itself. So the stream, there's no evidence that I have that border. There's no evidence that I have these overlays. And that's what I wanted to do. And that's the extent of what I wanted to show today. I just want to give a catch up on what I was actually doing with that. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll throw this one up on YouTube as usual. and. I'll keep doing random things on my show and some of it will be programming, some of it not, some various things. So I hope you enjoyed and until next time.